have two big bags of books to get rid of and an accidental overdose of McDonald's to deal with. Recent releases. A couple of possibilities. Has anybody read this one? I'm curious. I realized I was missing Faulkner's nose. So this one's a definite. Hey, we got 4209. Gotta make some decisions. OMG, look at this one. Alright, baby, what'd you get? I got a Doctor Who graphic novel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we were looking for Moss 2 or Mouse 2. Who knows how to pronounce that? And they didn't have it, but we, we found a cool graphic novel. Star Wars Omnibus Droids and Ewoks. Show them the inside of that one. That's cool. Oh, let's see the inside of the Doctor Who one. Nice. Uh huh. And what else? In complete book, a beginning running from Runner's World. You gonna show us some of the fashion statements in there? Gabriel was good, and he spent exactly half of our $42 credit. Or that guy. Oh, yeah, you wouldn't wear that, would you? All right, so what's in my bag? So off of that new release shelf, I got The Weight of Ink by Rachel Kaddish, and I had not heard of this. I remembered seeing a very similar cover on Camel's uh, Instagram, I think. And he had liked it, um, but this is not that one, but it looks a lot, lot, lot like it. But we had a 4.34 on Goodreads, and it said, Two Women of Remarkable Intellect. And I was like, okay, in my cart. That's the one. And I also got Eleanor Oliphant, I think. It's completely fine. Gail Honeyman. And this one keeps popping up on my Amazon over and over. It's also 4.34 on Goodreads, so hopefully it'll be a good one. This one I think is going to be a quirky romance. And I'm hoping it's similar to the Rosie Project. Okay, and then this one made me super happy. I've seen this one on Kendra Winchester's channel a few times, and you know, I break for flowers. So this one is. Um, a family in Palestine in the 60s and then they end up dispersing all over the world so I'm gonna like that one um, I got the two Ruta Sepetis that I didn't have and she is a YA historical fiction author if you have not read her you're missing out she's awesome um, Salt to the Sea is being made into a major motion picture and Between Shades of Grey is actually about to release as a, I guess an indie film, but those are both awesome. I've actually read both, all of her works, but. And then uh, I had to, I mentioned this in the store, but I got As I Lay Dying. Um, Faulkner needed to be completed. My Faulkner collection. And then the last two were just cover buys. The New York Trilogy by Paul Auster. And I think he wrote 4321. I haven't read it, the other one I have of his yet. But this just pulled me right in. The spine actually pulled me in. Um, and it seemed to have pretty good ratings on Goodreads. And I think it's... Um, mystery thriller type thing. I don't know. And then this last one, I just thought, again, the spine is what grabbed me. And then, and this one had, usually on, if I'm going on a Goodreads rec review, uh, rather than, you know, if somebody has recommended it who I respect their opinion, um, yeah, but if, if I don't know anything about it, I usually, it's like a 4.85 or higher before I'll get it. But this one I think had more of a 4.7. But my son had actually seen 
uh, a movie based on this. So I thought I would try it. And it's really short. It's only a hundred and um, thirty or forty pages. So yes, pretty exciting haul. Yay! Thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon because. I'm going to another bookstore tomorrow. I meant to say 3.85. I'm not so critical that I have to read 4.85 out of 5. Not quite. So yeah, doesn't William look so much better with his nose? Hello, butterfly.